The Letter from James Chapter 1 Here, 2 a.m. on a Monday morning, I have a thought that bears recording. And it is the significance of the Passover. Moses knew his father was his grandfather. He also knew that he was not loved and his mother had been raped. And that his father-grandfather had raped many women. And most of the firstborn sons of Egypt, okay, many, were Moses' half-brothers. This makes the Passover a very brutal attack on the Pharaoh, family genocide. Like the lion, Moses ruled over the slaves he stole from his father, grandfather. It's just a story, yes, but it is better to understand it than make a religion of it. James sounds like a nice simple fellow. This is nice for a change. I must admit I feel a little beaten from bashing around with Hebrews and Paul. Verse 3. For you know that when your faith succeeds in facing such trials, the result is the ability to endure. Or, if you climb the stairs, you get to the next floor. Or, if you go down the street, you come to the store. Verse 6. Whoever dotes is like a wave in the sea that is driven and blown about by the wind. End quote. Verse 14. But a person is tempted when he is drawn away and trapped by his own evil desires. End quote. Verse 18. By his own will he brought us into being through the word of truth, so that we should have first place among all his creatures. End quote. You gonna write everything they already said? Okay, let's look at his own will. It implies a person, and that is distracting, because evolution is a mix of her and him, and instinct is sort of like will, and truth is relative and can't be nailed down. The first place among the creatures is new for us, and if we want to stay there, we must take on the responsibility responsibility that comes with it, and we need to love it and dance in it. What responsibility? Protect the planet from assholes with gold, gold fever and asteroids, or go the way of the dinosaurs.